to the director's room, chairman's room. And I've been there seven years, I've been captain for three years, and I've never been into the director's room. So it says, where is it? Go to the top of the stairs, take a right. Walk in there, Billy Bingham and Chris Hassel, the secretary of Everton Football Club. Now I knew something was up there. There was no agents around at all at that time, of course. Jimmy Allison, the manager of Bob Lloyd, didn't care to speak to me, but I think they pocketed the check straight away and that was it. They had to build a stand at Burnley Football Club, that was the basic end. But absolutely delighted. Billy was uh, a really cool negotiator as well. I think I was about 120 quid at Burnley and he got me for about 150. Now when I came into Everton Football Club, of course, when he speaks to Bob Blacksmith, hey, double, is that all you got? You should have got my man, you know, from Birmingham, that would have been it. Super coming into the football club. And um, but it's a bit embarrassing on this table, of course, because we've got legends who've won things, isn't it? You know, Big Joe, of course, winning as uh, the championship as a player, of course, with the FA Cup as a manager. Derek, of course, as well. And we've got us three or four here. I won't bugger <laughs> Jim won a golf tournament one time, is that right? Like <laughs> but we did, but it was excellent in the 70s. We did have a terrific side, and that 1977 78 season, do you remember that? That was special because the great Bob Latchford scored how many goals? 30 goals. So, we, so the initiative from the Daily Express was £10,000. So we got Latchy in the dressing room over an ice bucket straight away and said, Latchy, we could do with a bit of this, you know. So being a, a great gentleman as well as a fantastic centre forward, he shared it out. 